Swole Benji here for today's April 1st video, first of the month video on April 1st. We have something very important to talk about, and that is the Abyssal Dungeon Raids, okay? So I am giving all of you a call to arms. I am having all of you do something extremely very important when you join these Abyssal Dungeon Raids. It is your duty as a gamer and as a Swole Benji watcher, a subscriber, maybe it's the first time you've seen my channel here. Do note that th today is April 1st. I want you, you are going to be on a mission, okay? And I'm going to explain what this mission is, but you are going to queue up in an Abyssal Raid. It doesn't matter which one it is, whichever one you're qualified for. I'm doing the 8-man one so I can reach more people. And what you're going to do is you're going to educate them about wearing proper gear sets and proper engravings. Because if you watch my channel, you're using the proper gear sets. You're, you've watched the build guides. You know how to read websites. As soon as you enter the dungeon, take all of your gear off and only wear one grudge engraving so that you have grudge plus one. This way we can identify each other, okay? Now, you're going to inspect other players by looking at the profile. And what you'll notice is that a lot of players put no thought or effort into their engravings or their stats. So here we have a gunslinger who has domination for some reason, and look at their engravings. They're not even really complete. This is the in-game tier 2 dungeon. They should have more than that. Let's check out this gunslinger, and let's look at their gear. They have endurance? Are they a tank? Why, why should you, why should I play with someone like this who does not care about their character? They do not care about optimizing their damage. Let's look at their engravings. They have Keen Blunt Weapon Level 3. That's not bad. And Peacekeeper Level 1, Cursed All Level 1. It's, it's not terrible. Alright, their card set, not bad either. But their stats really need... Domination? Why did, why did she have Domination? Is, is she going to be pushing or debuffing foes? She has like one debuff, okay? Also, make sure you don't skip the cutscenes, okay? Uh, make sure to let the cutscenes completely play out. This will give time... This will give players time to think about what they've done. Now, because you've taken all of your gear off, you don't have to suffer when this group wipes, okay? Because if you just inspect their gear and you see that grudge level 1, you see those mismatched stats, you know that this is a white party. Your party is not going to complete this dungeon. Let's check out this sorceress. Endurance, again. Is this sorceress a tank? Domination? Okay, pushed or debuffed foes. They have one debuff that lasts for a few seconds they can cast twice. Specialization? Where's the crit? Where is the crit? Where's the swiftness? Okay, engravings? Level 2 Igniter, level 1 Master's Tenacity. Oh, they have attack power reduction. Uh-oh. Alright, now we have the, the Scrapper here, right? So, like, look at this. Okay, this person has big crit, a little bit of swiftness. They're doing all- they're actually pretty good. This one's got the proper stats, so grats to this one, okay? Uh-oh. Um, their engravings need a little work, but that's fine, you know, they could really work on getting rid of that attack power reduction gems. They're missing gem slots. Why are they in a raid with missing gems? And card set, it's fine, whatever. Look, I would give that person a pass. Don't be too judgmental, you guys. Now, let's look at this. What is this? This is a source. I, again, uh, specialization crit. Kind of weird. Kind of a weird build they got going on. They, uh, they don't have their engravings all set up. And let's look at the death blade now. And again, we have... Now, this is some proper stat management. This person absolutely kicks butt in their stats. Um, except I think they... I don't think Death Blades go specialization. I could be wrong on that, but maybe they have a meme build. It, they look... It, they got grudge level 1. There it is. This is not okay. This gives them 4% damage, but they are so squishy. <laughs> and finally, we have a Gun Lancer. Almost all Gun Lancers should get a pass just for playing Gun Lancer. This one, however, went crit and spec. They're the tank, right? I'm also drowning, so I'm gonna jump over here in the air bubbles. And they're engraved. I died anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm not wearing any gear. There is no repair bill. It's completely fine, okay? So what you need to do now is you're going to wait in silence like a monk, like a spiritual person, okay? Until someone talks some smack about you in the chat. And here we go. Kim Kim, Kim is here says we got one AFK. And uh, uh, you can be like me. Like, are you are you talking about me? Oh, and they're already trying to quit the dungeon, right? So what you can do now is you can open up that profile, because we already did this part, and you can talk some smack about uh, their their stats, like, how... Well, okay, let's uh, open that chat. How am I AFK when you have domination? Uh, you you know you, you can't CC bosses, right? And you can just start slowly tearing them apart, okay? You can even do this during the cutscene, even while you're dead, okay? 
this guy again, because I've been doing this for quite a while. It is your duty as a swole binge watcher, it is your duty to clean up the mess that this game is. Korea would not allow this, Russia would not allow this, okay? Uh, look, you're missing a gem slot! You're even missing a gem slot, and you have the audacity to call me AFK? Right? So, uh, just find something, like, they don't even have any skins, their character lacks charisma, they shouldn't even be, um, you know, <laughs> look at this, level 15 stronghold. Why is your stronghold only level 15? That's, that's kind of weird, isn't it? That is very weird. That's kind of weird. Right? Um, and then, you know, maybe look at their guild name, see if it's, uh, you know, something you recognize or not. But anyway, this is what you need to do, because these people... Apparently their peer groups are not are not uh, you know encouraging them to wear the proper gear sets or use the proper engravings and this Right here. This is an eight-man raid. This is serious business. Oh, it, it, it's just tier two I can't be bothered to, to to spin gold in tier two. No, that's that's the excuse that they will tell you You have to come back and hit them hard, okay? Now what you also need to realize is that whenever they try to do a restart vote or whenever they try to do a vote to end the dungeon. Do not press enter to open your chat. You need to actually left click your chat, but right now it's kind of invisible, so I don't have a way to open my chat. But you need to let this timer... R there it is, there's a chat. So I'm going to left click the, the chat box, because if I push enter it will actually click OK here instead. You want to run down the clock as much as possible so that you have more time with these people, and so you can educate them. Alright, now they might threaten to report you, so this everyone's saying here, Everyone report this kid. I've got a copy-paste ready to go that says I am an official Amazon content creator and falsely reporting me will result in their two-week ban. Alright? Now, this may not work for you because you may not be a YouTuber like I am, and but you can just make up a story. They're not actually going to Google it or check. Then, you know, you can just name your character a variant of Asmongold and get this done, okay? Which is what you should do. Uh, I know the name Asmongold is taken, but you can use those special... Um, you know, those special, uh, little special characters, you hold the alt key, you press some numpad numbers, and you get these little fancy letters with fancy little, uh, slanted lines above them, and that will allow you to name your character Asmongold so that you can pretend to be him, and maybe get these people motivated so that they will do better in, uh, these dungeons. Also, if everyone seems to be AFK, run to the point so that they spawn on the boss, alright? And that will get you, that will get them more educated, that's going to... Allow people to stop failing these raids, and because you took your gear off at the very start of the dungeon, you won't suffer a repair bill, okay? And this person says, thank you, I work for Amazon, and I can be like, pretend, I can, I can phone them up right now, you can just, you just gotta go back and forth, you've got to let these people know that they are, you will not tolerate them wearing just whatever willy-nilly stats that they want, okay? Now what you have to do afterwards is open your inventory screen and in between the lag of everything loading back up, put your gear back on very quickly and requeue, hit that matchmaking once again, that way you can get the same people, alright? And after you do this for several hours, these people will either stop queuing up, which will stop clogging up bad people in these abyssal dungeon raids, or, they might actually open the market tab, spend maybe 50 gold tops, getting the right proper gear, and then you will have an actual raid group which you can use uh, to complete these Abyssal Dungeon Raids the way they were meant to be completed. Now, by no means is this being elitist, this is not being like an elitist jerk, this is not being a tryhard, this is simply saving your precious silver I don't know what to title this video, but everyone always complains that they don't have enough silver because tier 3 materials drain all of their silver. So this is a little silver cheat code for you that I, again, I am presenting this to you on April the 1st, okay? If you are unaware of cultural things that happen on April 1st, April 1st is a very fun day where we have lots of fun, especially here on the Swole Benji channel, okay? If you've never been here and this is your first video, do note that we do normally have different videos and different subjects. So again, as soon as this starts, you're going to see some of the same names. Let's see if we have any of the same names as last time. We got that uh, J-Lovin guy. I got him earlier. He was talking some smack earlier, and I've already set him straight. Let's see if he's corrected his gear, and he did not because he's got expertise on a sorceress, and he's got domination on a sorceress, a little bit of sword. He's got a little bit of everything that he doesn't really actually need, his engravings. 
Level 3 Grudge. I'm not going to complain about that too hard, you know. He's trying. He's got, he's got okay gems. His card set. He did fix his card set. So, grats on him, but he's got that level 9 stronghold. Still, we got to give him some crap about that. Now, here's where I've actually failed. And I've got to make this right very quickly. I did not take my gear off. So, my gear is at risk. And there we go. We did it. We took our gear off just in time. So that now, once we wipe, or if I go AFK and get some... So, like a bowl of eggs or something, okay, because I am hungry, then I don't have to worry about my gear breaking and paying the silver fee for having to put up with people that don't know how to properly gear. Now, also, another thing that we haven't seen, okay, is someone that is tier 3, which we probably don't have one of the- why does- um, why do you need specialization as a bard? I'm sorry, have you not seen my videos? Okay, um, why do you need specialization as a- <laughs> uh, purple here, my man, what? Anyway, so the, the point is, if you see a tier 3 person, you need to let them know in the chat that you will be AFK. No, don't say that you're AFK. Simply let them know that you will be rooting for them for the free carry, and that you support them, and you will be off to the sidelines waiting for them to finish their little uh, power flex, okay? Uh, it doesn't look like there, there's any here. There's a 10 to 30 person. You know, this person's built all right. They're doing pretty good. They actually have decent engravings. Like, but, oh, they're missing gems. They're missing gems. This is a raid. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Your name's irate. You're making me irate. Okay. And, uh, um, again, level 15 stronghold. What is happening there? Isn't that weird? All right. But, you know, just, just start checking people. Hey, we, look at this. A 13, this is a tier three and it's a gun lancer. And they, uh, I don't know about expertise. I don't know about, that's kind of weird. I don't know about that one. They, they're trying. I know that getting your engravings is a little bit harder. And your gems are actually pretty hard if you don't have the proper ones. He, he actually has uh, a few good ones. You know, I would give this guy a pass. He's trying. You know, he, he, he's, he seems to know what's going on here. He's got a nice name. Stronghold. I don't, I don't know about that stronghold, man. That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to have such a low-level stronghold. Anyway, make sure that uh, it's because it's the water level that we are breathing the water. And anyway, guys, that is your duty when you play Lost Ark, okay? Dark because this game, here. don't worry about the bots killing the game. Don't worry about all the RMT. Don't worry about the the insanity of honing your 90% chance and your 99% chances failing 10 times in one day, which is mathematically impossible. Okay, it's not really impossible, but it is statistically kind of impossible in a normal sense of things. Don't worry about that stuff killing the game. The true killer of the game is the fact that you can join these abyssal raids and these people think it's okay to bring their characters with the wrong stats into these raids. This guy is half and half, which you, you can't blame him too. Oh, there's drops of e drops of ether. Not a good, not a good engraving, my dude. Okay, my dude is Reddit speak. I'm sorry for that, but it is April 1st. I think I can get a pass for saying some Reddit phrases every once in a while here on the Swole Benji channel, okay? So, anyway, these guys haven't really complained yet in chat about me. So, oh wait, nope, 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 they just did. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Wind Weather says, that zero gear again, not even moving. Okay, so now we can tear this person apart. Okay, so why do you have spec and swiftness? Okay, you know what? Actually, that's correct. That is correct as a bard. So we can't, can't, can't do that, okay? They got, yep, they're missing, they're missing some engravings. Well, you're missing many key engravings, and they also have all-out attack. So you <laughs> might as well be AFK. And let's check their stronghold level. It's only level 10. Also, what's up with that level 10 s <laughs> stronghold? <laughs> Anyway, you get the point, okay? You gotta find these people are gonna think they they think they can push you around. Uh, don't let them push you push you around. Make sure that you educate them because we're not wearing our gear. We can't really hurt the bosses, and we can't really tank and tank them either. But our our durability does not break at all. We we pay zero silver. You can do this all day and all night. It is completely legal. It is completely allowed. I highly encourage you to do it. Anytime someone asks why you're doing this, just tell them that Swole Benji you know, told you to do it, and that it's okay, and that they need to fix their engravings. And you see this J-Lovin' guy, he still hasn't fixed his stuff, and he's already dead too. Maybe he's, he's, um, maybe he's protesting just like me. I need you guys out there in these abyssal dungeons. We have to fix 
the Western servers, okay? This is what they did in Korea. This is what they did on the Russian servers. And we're going to do it now on the North American servers, the South American servers, the European servers. We're going to get this done. We're going to take care of this. Let me know in the comments that you're going to be part of the April 1st army that is going to take care of this huge problem. All right. And I'm Soul Binging. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro. This is Swole. We have videos every day on this channel. Okay, come back tomorrow for a normal video. All right, guys. It's, it's an April Fool's video if you haven't figured it out yet. Um, now, the Redditors are going to be really mad. So make sure that you post this video to Reddit and be like, I can't believe this guy is doing this crap. I can't believe we need to ban Swole Benji. He is griefing. He is a troll. I can't stand this, and then like they'll they'll up they'll upvote they'll updoot your Reddit post. Okay, so I need you to get on Reddit, get some normies to have some fake seeds, you know, some BS crap that they won't care about a year from now. They're not even gonna remember it anyway. They're like little lemmings, little goldfishies swimming, like these little fishies right here swimming in the ocean. Can't zoom into them because I'm dead. Apparently, you're not allowed to zoom in when you're dead. That's uh, that that uh, privilege is taken away from you upon death. But the little Redditors swimming right here, that's what they're doing. They're just following each other's little tails. They don't know any better. It's okay. Um, guys, Elden Ring videos tomorrow. That's the plan. I haven't actually made any yet as of this recording. But Elden Ring videos tomorrow. Let's go. Let's go get hype. Hit that subscribe button. Support me financially because I know that you work in that little office cubicle. I know that you make that $100,000 a year. Come on, man. It's only five bucks a month. You know, I got to eat those chicken. I, I can't even afford chicken tendies. I can't even afford chicken nugs. I can afford beans and rice. Thank you so much for those that have joined. But I would I want to upgrade the beans and rice to chicken nugs and to tendies. OK, tendies are the goal. We need to hit the tendy goal. Please help me out, guys. Come back tomorrow for some Elden Ring videos. I, I hope Elden Ring is good. I haven't. I feel so bad. I got gifted the game weeks ago, and I haven't touched it. I'm so sorry. And uh, Jay Lovin, uh, remember, do not click OK. Do not press Enter. <laughs> well, yeah, you just keep talking about the stronghold. <laughs> Guys, we're having fun here. Go up, up here, have fun. OK, it's all good. It's all Gucci. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Make sure you like the video. Like the video because a bunch of fucking Reddit normies, they're not going to like the video. They're going to dislike the video because they think it's a troll or something. It's April Fool's video. Come on now. Just, just come on now. Just like the video. Just like, just like the Don't dislike the video. Like the video. And subscribe. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. I've been doing this for 12 hours today. This is all I've done all day is this. And damn it, I was gonna I'm gonna make a video on it, and I did. And it's uh, it's on the special day for the special channel for the special audience, which is you guys. I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. You guys, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. That's it. See you tomorrow. Take care. I'm straight edge. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. So don't say that in the comments. I hate people that leave that comments. Also, by the way, if you're wondering why your comments gone, it's because you uh, disagreed with the narrative or you. Um, you might have said or done something that might drive down views, clicks, and metrics. So if you're one of those that does that to videos, then have fun with that. Okay, yes. And there we go. I'm not going to stop talking. I'm going to keep doing um, We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going for maybe a couple, couple more minutes. Yeah. Now, but see, you know, people are going to be like, they're going to say that I'm the problem, that I'm killing the game. But, but look at the chat. Look at the chat. Look at all of this spam. Look at it. Look at it. it. Nothing is being done about this. Not a damn thing. Do I have to re -queue? Oh, oh, wrong thing. No, we don't want to queue for that. Okay, I'm still in the queue. Cool. Look at all. Look at all the bots. Look at them. Like, just one game master can fix this, right? So here's the thing. If I get banned for, I've been doing this for since the game came out, and I haven't even been warned for it. Okay, but if I get banned for this. Which Amazon will never tell you why they ban you. They might just ban you for whatever the fuck reason, right? If I get banned for this, I'll make a video telling you guys not to do this because it's, you know, risky. But don't worry, it's not because I've been doing this since, again, like day one. And, um, you know, instead of banning these bots, they would ban someone like me. How dare they, right? I'm just, guys, I'm just having fun. I'm just, it's, it's April 1st. Come on, man. Just, just come on, man. Look. I've, I'm trying to make this a 20 minute video, so let's see who we get, let's see if we get some, some of the same people so that they can just complain and then I can bully them about their, about their spec and their, and their gear. Okay, always take off that gear so you don't have a repair bill.
We got uh, we got Raiju again, um, and that's the only person I uh, I recognize. So there we go. Let's look at this person real quick. Okay, they uh, look at that expertise endurance. Why? Why you do this? You got adrenaline. You only have look. You should really focus demonic impulse over adrenaline. And you know, like that's adrenaline's more expensive. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. We have a bot, guys. <laughs> I'm not a bot. I'm a real YouTuber. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not a bot. How dare they say I'm a bot? I know there's. A, I know the majority of the game, the player base is bots. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it looks like uh, looks like th these guys are gonna have a nice little juicy repair bill. That's what they does. That's what they get. Supposedly skit. I am not a schizo, man. It, man, like if I was a schizo, I could play all the old. No, no, that's dementia. I was gonna say I could play all the old video games all over again. I could go play Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, and if I had dementia, I wouldn't remember playing it, and it would be like I was playing it for the first time. That magical feeling. Why is my character glowing green? What the f what the f? Don't f and join then. <laughs> join a dungeon and try to quit as they join. Don't join. What? Okay, do I need to pick apart this person's stuff? I th I don't remember if they had a good stuff going. They actually have their stuff together, right? So I can't really mess with them too much, you know. Um, so in this case, I just don't say. I just don't. I don't I'm sorry. Hit the microphone. I'm sorry. Uh, in this case, I just don't say anything, man. I just give them the silent treatment because that's gonna make them. It's gonna make them more more upset. Now you could try like making fun of their guild name or something like his. His guild name is Chubby Catch Cats. Um and. You know what? He's talking to normal chat, so I'm talking to normal chat. Nope. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna click the arrow because I don't remember. The... It's slash S. That's so dumb. There we go. Hit him with the copy pasta. I have an entire. I have like 50 different text files full of copy pastas that I can just hit them with. All sorts of fun little subjects, all narrowed down to fit right into the chat box. This is what I do with my free time, people. All right. Now, see, they have a majority agree vote. They're waiting on me, but I can hold them for 14 more seconds. So, um, uh, not a bot, Lamau. <laughs> Still not a bot. Can't turn me into one. Oh, can't turn me one in one. Keep dreaming. Anyway, I'm gonna queue up again. Let's see if we can get this guy again. Dude, it's really funny when you get the same, like, seething person for, like, ten times in a row. They just start losing it. Now, there's one thing I didn't actually cover in the video. I don't know why I've already, like, did my outro and I'm still going, but whatever. It's, a, it, today's a special day, so you get a special video from a special person. All right. So, one thing that you can do, this is called uh, report baiting, okay? You wait till someone threatens you, like they tell you to do something that would harm yourself, or they tell, they use massive curse words or call you really horrendous names. And then... You can just report them, and then they will have a little vacation and miss some of those vital login reward days, and you just know that they will be pissed off. If there's ever an afterlife, you can meet up with them there and then laugh at them for getting banned in a video game that won't matter to them, and it's just a little pixel game. Now, Anger Child here, irate, we've had them before. Let's see if they say anything in the chat, because they definitely know who I am now. And this is a great way to spread your brand, doing a YouTube challenge. Wow, you figured it out. Yes, yes, I am doing a special video. But, again, we can um, we can just see. Now, he, he, he gave us a challenge. And I could be like, okay, well, his stats are good. His stats are all right. Okay. And you know what? Remember, silent treatment. Oh, he's missing gems. Oh, doing a... <laughs> I don't remember the command for raid chat. Doing a missing gems challenge? This is <laughs> this is a raid. You ah, stupid cutscene. This is a raid. You know, <laughs> get serious or don't <laughs> cue. <laughs> uh. All right. If you would let us know, I'm sure others won't get as mad. <laughs> uh. So, guys. I, I know this video has been going on for a little while, and I appreciate you watching, especially if you watch the whole thing, didn't skip around. But I need your help. I need more people, boots on their ground, swole bingy lads and chads in the games doing this, letting these people know this is not okay to queue up with your dumb... Like, let's look at this dead eye right here with 
domination and expertise, excuse me? Like, why should I ever try? Why should I ever play with this person? Why should I e even bother putting on my gear? Uh, their engravings are not bad, okay? Not terrible. It could be better. They don't have... They only have level 1 enhanced weapons, whatever, you know? Um, but their stats are just all over the place. It's just stupid. Now, they are tier 3, so they're supposed to carry me anyway. That's their job, you know? You can say something like chop chop. Chop chop wages get to work, but the raid's already over. Now, let's see. It, they said report, so I'm gonna hit them with copy pasta. You know, it might help, it might not. It's fine. Just hit them with that copy pasta. Make, give them a little bit of a sense of, of, of fear that if they if they hit that report button on us, which we, we, we're not breaking any rules here, right? We're not break. We're not doing anything wrong, okay? Now, remember, you gotta be very quick on this step. Hopefully, you have a fast computer, okay, with an SSD or something. And you want to put that gear right back on, hit that matchmaking button. Now, let me tell you another little quick tip. Don't take your gear off while you're still in matchmaking. If I was to strip down, okay, and then this pops and I hit okay, it won't let me in. You have to get in first before you can strip down and save that repair bill. All right. One more. Now, also, if you want to waste everyone's 30 seconds because you're a no-life neat with no job and you're just so unhinged from working retail 13 years that you've completely lost it and you've lost all social connections connections with any other human beings, okay, and all your families moved super far away in the country and you have no one left to talk to because whatever reasons, you know, just that's how life is, all right, then, you, then you, you can do this too and it's a lot of fun and it's a good investment of your time it's an absolute blast all right now let's take off that gear before we check the names now let's see we got raiju once again that's like four times now we got sir again and he said this guy obviously recognized me he says no his first words are like no i'm not <laughs> uh, these guys now make sure you tell him something like y'all having fun <laughs> gotta work tomorrow <laughs> Is this a good investment of your time? <laughs> Why is this kid still here? Man, I I, ha I hated being a kid, okay? I hated going to school. I hated listening to adults. I hated having bedtimes. I hated all of that stuff. Okay, so we... Now, put that gear back. You could t maybe put your... No, and I, the menu popped up. Now, if they haven't started anything, you can put your gear back on so you can save putting your gear on when you're back in town and everything is laggy. Now, if they end the raid immediately, at least with my computer, I can kind of load all the assets back up really, really fast without any lag, but in this case, not so much because I am recording. So there we go, there's a bit of lag. Make sure you hit that matchmaking ASAP so that when those guys, they're gonna do the same thing. They're gonna try to mat, they're gonna try to hit that matchmaking button super, super quick so that they can avoid getting back in queue with you. But it is also like five in the morning on a work day. So, the majority of people, actual real people, not bots, okay, that are queuing up for this, there's not that many. They're going to run into me over and over and over again. And you can you can try telling them, okay? Uh, like, if someone's very assertive and they're, they're telling people to report you and they're doing all that kind of stuff, then you can be assertive and, and, and tell them to wait three minutes before queuing up so that they can avoid me, right? And, you know, it, it's funny because what happens is they all wait three minutes and then they all hit Q, and then I've been sitting in Q waiting for three minutes already in the matchmaking, and so whenever they fill up the ranks, I'm just like, haha, you wasted your three minutes. Hmm, yeah. And that is, uh, that's another way to do it, too. Now, um, also, make sure if you find anyone in these groups that happen to be party, like, check their guild names. If they have the same guild name, you can kind of, you can kind of gripe at them for being timid and queuing up as a group and that they're too scared to play solo. Okay, or maybe you can ask them, how do they have friends? How do they make friends in 2022 on April 1st, 2022, by the way? And yeah, I know I ended the video a while ago, but hey, we're still going. We're going to go ahead and make it a 30-minute April 1st special just for you guys because you guys are the best. Make sure you up <laughs> the video. Uh, guys, I haven't been getting any views on this heckin' game. Okay, I'm sorry for the Reddit speak, but... YouTube will, they'll, they'll just, they'll just, they'll, they'll destroy me if I say bad word, okay, bad word, bad, okay, every time I say bad word and, and the video's about to end, I have to extend the video another, like, five to ten minutes, so that Mr. Algorithm doesn't crush me under his heels, okay, like the insect that I apparently am to the conglomerate that is Google and YouTube, alright, let's look at those names, you got Sky Bastion, 
Uh, hey, this guy's name is Papa Jobless, man. That guy gets a pat. I don't care what his spec is. I don't care what his stats are. Papa Jobless, you are incredibly based and red pilled. What a lad. Okay, he put his that he's jobless in his name. Okay, you know once you get bored of this, you can make up some random ex his his guild name is AFKers. Look, look at this guy. Mwah. What? Give him a clap. That is... His stronghold is level 26. The fat... F Man, this this guy... I don't even care that his engravings are like whatever and his gear stats are whatever. This guy... Man, what an amazing... Mm, I, I want to be this guy's friend. He is a cool dude. What server is Papa Jobless? It doesn't really tell... He's a 111. Wow. He's got that big boy... Uh, a roster level. Look at that. Oh, has anyone said the word report? Uh, yep, 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 yep. They said report. Hit them with the copy pasta. Booyah. All right, we wasted some of their time. Put that gear back on because there we go. We got our gear back on so we can queue a little bit faster for the next one. Man, see, now that guy, I would be willing to put my gear on and actually try because I actually liked his name. I liked his guild name. I thought that's a cool dude. That is probably a swell lad. I would enjoy his company. Probably, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe, you know, I get on Discord, he starts, like, hitting up the doobie, bong, fat bong rips into the mic, doesn't use push-to-talk. Probably, maybe then, I'll be like, I'll be like you, know, you know you know what, Papa Jobless, man? You know, just see you later, dude. You know, just see you later. I never really liked Papa John's pizza. I, every, like, once a year, I'll try Papa John's pizza. I'll, 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 tr I'll go and I'll spend, a, like, all of my money on a Papa John's pizza... Usually if someone gives a hefty donation or something. And, and like Papa John's Pizza is where I'm at. They're like $15. Okay, that's a, that is like 20 pounds of rice, 20 pounds of beans, a whole lot of bullion cubes, a whole lot of water that I could live off of for months. For one pizza that I could live off of for like a day. Okay, so it's a real huge investment for me to get a Papa John's Pizza, man. But I, I get the meme. It's a Papa John. <laughs> Do you ever just randomly say Papa John's and, like, just randomly, like, you're driving in a car or you're, like, by yourself at a park or you're by yourself filming a YouTube video and you just start saying, Papa John's. Now, I normally say it a lot louder, but it is five in the morning and I don't want to disturb neighbors so that they call the police and send me off to, 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 to autism jail, okay? I don't want to do that, but let's see if we can get Papa Jobless again. That guy was cool, man. I want to see him again. Okay, uh, we got Sir again. I wonder, that's not Sir Medieval, that would be, uh, he doesn't play this game. Uh, man, I, I, I hope his channel does well. He's covering a new pretty cool game. Uh, go check him out, you know, shout outs to Sir Medieval. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> look at him, look at the chat! <laughs> this is more entertaining and memorable than this whole heckin' game, Okay. <laughs> This is this is all of our work is coming to fruition. This this is when you plant the seed. <laughs> this is when you plant the seed and you <laughs> reap the harvest. <laughs> Sorry, I had to mute my microphone. I'm losing my voice. Oh, in, yeah, sorry, I'm losing my voice. In this instance, if I hit OK, I won't risk my gear. Uh, look, <laughs> how sad does your life have to be? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> they, they think that queuing up at 5 in the morning, they can just avoid me? I don't think so, lad. That's not how this works. Okay, now, guys, uh, hold on. Let me clear my voice. All right, I gotta be quick. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm like dying now. Okay. All right. So that is the big payoff that you want to have. Eventually, you're gonna cycle in a new group of lads to educate and have fun with. Okay. And you may be thinking, 
You're not getting any items out of this soul, Benji. You're not getting any of the loot or the rewards. You could have done the dungeon a few times over by now. And to that I say, I already have the loot. I don't need any of this stuff. I don't care. This does not matter to me. These, these items do not matter. Stop. Stop chasing virtual greed and chase memories. Chase having a good time was what the game gives you. Do you think the Korean developers ever sat down, had a little meeting, and thought anyone would ever play their game like this? Okay? If I made a video game and someone found a way to have fun like this, okay, then, um, then, you know, I'd be happy for them, right? Now, let's look at the names. I don't recognize any of these names, so we got a new batch of people. I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm, I'm losing my voice here because I'm just having a grand time, okay? So I can't keep talking. That means I can't keep recording. I hope you enjoyed this April 1st video, guys. I've already done the outro. It was like in the middle of the video somewhere, so just rewind. If you skip to the end and hoping to like find some secret magic guide potion exploit, well, I'm only, I only post those to members now, which you gotta shill out five buckaroos. Click that join button down below. All right, if you want these videos to be free of stupid ads like Raid Shadow Heckins and uh, and keeps for balding men, why would it, why would someone that's balding play video games? Why would why why does keeps think that gamers need balding medicine? Okay, like go advertise that stuff on like middle age channels. Okay, this is this is a video game channel. Why why do all these video game channels shill the anti balding cream? I don't understand. Like, uh, they get offered, like, $400 or something to, like, shill out some anti ball Shut up, Nav Navine. I didn't say you could talk. Okay, now shut, shut. <laughs> right, I, I know she can't hear me. She's an NPC. She's just a script. It's just a video. It's just a little angel girl on the screen. Okay, out of all the monster girls, everyone knows that angel girls are the best monster girls. Not fish girls, not slime girls, not spider girls, not snake girls, not harpy girls. Angel girls, succubuses, demon girls, not not the most terrible, okay? It's not the worst, alright? You know, anyway, I'm getting off topic here. This video is about doing your part. Oh, and instead of AFK, you could also kind of run with the group so they get a little less sus. Because this is a new group, they, they, there is there is no one being a sussy baka about my actions yet. No one has inspected me, no one's checked my gear. But you can feel free to check theirs. Maybe they're all, you like, look at it. Why do you need endurance as a death blade? Why do you... What's going on with this part? Like, why? Level one grudge, baby! <laughs> Level one grudge! Oh boy! 4% more damage, but 20% additional damage taken. Mm, living on the edge. Gotta get that 4% because Reddit told you so! <laughs> oh, I love people, man. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, the dark wave is already here. Oh, the dark wave. Oh, the dark wave. It's gonna get you. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so Oh, hey, you want to know a cool little cheat code? Th this is this is for anyone who, you know, just stuck around. If you hold on to the turtle shell and um, they start the next event, in the cutscene and in the boss fight up ahead, you will have the turtle shell. Like, the turtle shell will be, like, in your torso during the cutscene. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna stand in the water so I don't drown. We're gonna wait. I'm, I'm, this is a little. This is a little extra for those that made it to the end. The little, little cutscene cheat code. If you want to be a turtle person in a cutscene, okay, check it out. I got the tortoise shell. It's over my head. Okay. Now, and when the cutscene begins, or I, I think they have to clear some mobs or something. I don't know what's. Yeah, here we go. See, the the, the turtle shell is now in my gut and sticking out of my sides, like under my armpit. It's just kind of. It's just kind of bouncing around now that we're riding... What is this? Uh, wouldn't that sting? Is, is that the stingray? No, it's not a stingray. Isn't that the jellyfish's uh, uh, long pole? I don't think that's something you would want to grab. I don't think the jellyfish is having fun with you grabbing that. Okay, but we got this big fat turtle shell. It's just kind of hanging out. And now for the boss fight, check it out. I got a turtle shell. And you can run around and people will be like, What the heck are you doing? Okay. You can put it down, it'll go, it'll disappear if you put it down, so don't put it down. But also, another nice little thing you can do when people start complaining that you don't have any gear, that you're AFK, you can run them next to them, you start, um, you start playing your musical note, so you can just be like... 
Make sure to cancel it though before it finishes so that you can play it again immediately. And you can just follow someone around that's uh, being upset with you and just play the music at them and then they'll kind of figure out what's going on. See? Like this person, they can hear the music, okay? Now, I died there because I didn't have any gear on and that's totally fine because we don't have a repair bill. You don't have a repair bill for the jewels, okay? Anyway, guys, that's all I've really got to share with you. I hope that this helps you have a lot of fun in Lost Ark. I hope this gets your boots on the ground. It gets you out there in those abyssal raids and enforcing the fact that people like this person right here, that you're not going to stand for this. You're not going to stand for level 1 grudge. You're not going to stand for Deathblade tanks, okay? Deathblades don't have a taunt, and they don't have any blocking your shields. So why are they running endurance, like, plus 11% shields? Are they healers? They're not healers, okay? <laughs> like, this person is just getting a free ride from you, okay? With their level 6 stronghold! Level 6! Level 6 stronghold! Oh my god! Why? Why? Oh, don't, don't, don't carry these people. Don't even entertain the idea that they deserve to be in the same raid as you. Alright, it is a new day. Dailies have reset. <laughs> WTF is happening. You already know. <laughs> All right, guys. That's that's 40 minutes long. 41 minutes long, guys. Come back tomorrow. Elden Ring. Hopefully. Maybe. Try to make Redditors mad. Spread the word. Get the Redditors all buttered and upset. I believe in you. Tell Reddit. Tell Reddit so they can be like, oh my god, this guy needs to be banned. Do it. Do it for me, it'll be funny. If I get banned, I've already quit the game. By the time you're watching this, I've already quit. It doesn't matter, it's fine. See you tomorrow.